Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nigel Storm here. Welcome back to Revive the Witch. So, um, as you've noticed from my channel, um, as per usual, uh, this week is, you know, the as per usual. So, um, no big events occurring at the moment, just the banner that we've reviewed a few days ago, which is the uh, little Akasha uh, banner. But for this video, I'm technically uh, two months late. But essentially, this is a six month review, brackets plus two, on my free to play account. And this is essentially just to share with you guys my uh, experience with uh, Revive the Witch, you know, and letting you guys know if there's anything that I've, you know, probably struggled with or stuff like that. So, first things first, if you take a look on the left side here, just to prove, prove you guys that it is free to play. I still have the first uh, top up uh, bonus here and if we uh, go to gift I still have the growth fund portion here technically if, if you want to spend this is your uh, best um, what do you call it best for your buck best bang for your buck this 580 is enough to buy you Probably five to six battle pass because um, unlocking the Maelstrom costs you 128 only. So, okay, ar around four. At least four battle pass, which is a long time. So, that's like. So, each battle pass is around 50 days. So, that's nearly a year's worth of um, battle pass, which is very nice. So, without further ado, let's then take a look at the top here. Um, so, I've saved up quite a number of souls. Obviously, I've used some over time to summon, uh, mainly for the uh, discount multis. And amassing this amount does take a long time. You'd have to either get lucky or skip banners or both. But yeah, um, pure pull wise, it's actually not that much. It's shy below 200 pulls. Uh, guarantee pity is 160, so it's a little over that. And then this is just your mana. Um, I mainly just farm these over time nowadays uh, because there's nothing else to farm. Now, obviously, I can farm equipment as well, but you know, farming the equipment stage, getting the red gems, and then pulling on the legendary equipment box. Um, but for the most part, I'm not getting the good ones. Um, I'm still chasing the uh, the necklace. This one. I'm still unable to get a single one on either of my accounts. But in any case, uh, no need to cry about that. So the next part is to take a look at my archive. So this is just a quick look at the list of uh, characters, dolls that I own and dolls that I don't own. So if you go to overview, um, we'll start off with the R's, you know, as a formality. So obviously we have all of those for SRs. Obviously we have all of those. And then SSRs obviously have all of those because, you know, I've partaken in the events. So out of all these characters, um, some of them, well, a, a small number of them are event characters. So in order to obtain them, you'd have to wait for their rerun if you haven't got them already. So the SSRs are Akaronte. This is Suigetsu. This is... Uh, uh, let's... Uh, I can just click on it. Dorin, this is Dorin. And this is uh, Frigio. So these four are event characters, so you'd have to participate in the event. So in this case, you'd have to wait for the rerun. Now, there's another tab here called EX, and this is essentially the character that you obtain for participating in the closed beta. Now, I've heard that in the CN version, you can obtain uh, Lilia through a banner later on. So, you know, that's the only way we can hope for other people to obtain her. But yeah, she's just, she's just a uh, global, not a CBT exclusive for now. Um, she's rarely used, but she can be used for certain comps that, incre that increase the need for um, all the energy gen for early starts. Now, for the main attraction, the URs. If you take a quick look here, as you can see, I am missing quite a number of them. Um, it does look like I'm missing half from the looks of it. Um, obviously, from the at the beginning, I think I had a decent number and then it just slowly went down. 
I said I'm having less and less of them. But in any case, um, from the top, we'll just list who I am uh, missing so you can follow. So at the top here is Anemone. And then I'm missing Mine still. Uh, this is Gervig. This is Nana. And then uh, this is Cher. This is Odyssea. This is Dark Anemone. And this is, yes, a Sivi. So she is a good one. I still don't have her because they haven't done the rerun yet. This is, we call her Christmas Flora. Uh, but it's Idol Flora, technically. Uh, this is Nasha, the most recent Battle Pass character. You can still obtain Battle Pass characters through pools, but obviously they're not, uh, they're not rated up. And then this is Toenail of Night. Uh, te she Technically, she is kind of like a limited character. Well, she is a seasonal based character, but she's in the Dreamland pool, so uh, non-limited. This is Kapla, and this is another limited, a uh, Sally. And then this is... Uh, she does, she looks like um, a Fallen, but it's obviously not her. Parfait, there you go. And then this is Rafan. This is Little Akash, obviously the most recent one. This is Ninsa. And then last but not least, we have Princess Amanami. So as you can see, that was a that was a hefty number of um, dolls that I do not have. Now for those that I do have, I'll just um I'll just mention the ones that are limited. So in this case, uh, Salanya is limited. Um unfortunately, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but Salanya has fallen enough, so you know feels bad. Um let's see who else is limited. Okay, yep. Uh, Symbriette is also limited over here. Uh, this is also a very strong character, Amurai. Um, insane support for Brimstone teams. Also limited. And then no one else is limited. So as you can see, I, what I've technically done is essentially choose my banners. So maybe I can sort for obtain, obtain order. Okay, there you go. Obtain order i'm not sure if that actually makes sense but yeah i don't think it makes sense for the obtain order i might have to um let's see read from left to right no it doesn't it doesn't actually work but but in any case um yeah as you can see these are all my urs um as you can see i can fit all of them into one screen but essentially i've picked my banners so if I can remember from the top of my head, the banners. So they started with a rotation between each of the basic URs. And then they started with the limited for Solania. So I pulled for that. Um, I did manage to get lucky. But, you, but people normally re-rolled for her. Uh, after that, the next banner was uh, Metamorphosis. That's the first one that I've actually pulled for. Um, I th and then the next part one I pulled for Catherine for the next banner after that I essentially skipped a ton of banners until Amurai came along I pulled for her and then after that it was Edeen and then Isabel and then Symbriet. So, if you've noticed, there are a lot of characters that I didn't mention, uh, and that's mainly because I obtained them uh, passively, so off banner, either trying to get the banner or somehow pulling them from the um, free, not free multi, the discount half off multi, which normally costs 1k orbs. But in any case, that was the roster of um, apologies if that took too long, um, but for the half off, I normally use them for Dreamland and the Awakening, mainly because that's the best way for free to play to pull is by pulling with the discount using the souls. It's the most efficient way of spending your souls when pulling. It adds to your pity as well as you know, you know, an extra chance on getting lucky. And then after that, I try to make sure that I only use cryolites to pull and not souls. 
and obviously you can save the souls for pulling on the recollection summons for their unique equipment but i would only suggest uh pulling on limited uh banners for two copies and then only one copy for basic non-limited banners because you can buy the other copy from the shop so you go to shop trials and then unique equipment you can just buy one from here all right so the next part would be uh i guess who i have leveled up so for the most part i mainly leave them at ascent 4 around level 50 as at that point that's when you're able to level up to the level 5 um active skills for level 2 passive skill you only need a uh, level 20 at the send 4 but yeah so i normally leave them at level 50 at send 4 but obviously if i wanted to make them level 90 i can obviously do that see it's only 26 million but you know i'll do that when i need to but yeah, as you can see i've actually have a raised that many characters you know if you go by rows that's one row and that's two rows so two and a half rows of ascend four so technically speaking my roster isn't actually that big in terms of who i use now these who i have at ascend three this is mainly for um my when i did my free to play um guides for uh, broken lands which you can check out if you look for them um, if you want i can make the you know definitive guide so that's the only video you need to watch every time rather than seeing my other ones but yeah for the most part you know i don't really level up the lower rarity ones because i, have, I don't have a need to um as you can see uh, i have to admit i haven't been leveling up some of my urs as you can see from these here but these two are recent matt vife and the and betsy because i did pull them off banner all right so that was pretty hefty uh, that's essentially the review of my box and who i have and who i don't so now comes the next part which is essentially my experience in uh playing this game so essentially speaking i, I just mainly played this uh for fun um, I mainly just, uh, you know, do my dailies. Obviously, they take like, they take like what, uh, five minutes at most to finish. And essentially, the rest you can do is like the adventure and stuff. But yeah, so when I when you when I started out, you know, I do the chapters and stuff. Um, I would actually suggest actually like reading through. Um, the story itself is pretty decent. Um, unfortunately, it's not. Um, well, it is partly voice acted if i'm not mistaken but not fully uh unless i'm mistaken but in any case uh the story itself is pretty decent you know there is um it's essentially like the the story of you as the witch you know f essentially finding out the truth behind who you are because you start off with with you losing all your memories and you technically have no idea of what's going on only to be you know led by a few people who knew you before whatever took place that led you to lose your memories but yeah i won't go any further than that um obviously it's going to be spoilers but after you do the, all those chapters you unlock you know the stuff in dimensional trials over that and stuff and for the most part you know all the content wasn't really difficult um obviously the only thing that you could uh you could note is that if you take a look at any end game stuff and you take a look at the rankings obviously uh it's going to be relatively difficult to meet the standards of this now is it am i saying that i can't do this myself um if i were to say that that would actually be a lie obviously i could but i would have to try and you know um for example let's take a look at this right this is their Amurai right here. As you can see, they're at a level at which a free-to-play can attain. Um, unfortunately, I do not have this, but it's not necessary. And then if we take a look at their um, Isabel, as you can see, max unique equipment. Now this I don't have, I haven't gotten lucky. But the one advantage that you could say that non-free-to-play have is the, I guess, the luxury to be able to re-roll 
this section as many times as they want until they get some you know god rolls as you can see here and this one's pretty it's not the best but it does work enough and obviously for this you want to go for as much flat attack as possible so yes as you can see um i am i do have the potential to have you know the same amount of uh raising in order to get the time it takes to clear but obviously you know it it's, it's not my thing to be that competitive competitive in this game since I mainly play it for fun. But what I'm saying is, as a free-to-play, you can still compete with the uh, you know the non-free-to-plays at end-game level. It's just that um, I guess when it comes to re-rolling your sub stats and stuff, you would need to get lucky. And speaking of equipment, we can go through those. So if you go to the workshop here, uh, filter, and then we'll go with legendary. And then go with the ones that I do have leveled up. And then in, I'll press this one. There you go. So as you can see, um, I do have, you know, pretty decent ones. Oh, this one, I like this one. Um, it's mainly about getting lucky on the purple stat before you do these two. For what I mean by purple stat, you know, I'll do one for you guys. So you go to enchant. And then what I normally do is I do the normal golds. And then keep enchanting until I reach 18 out of 20. Uh, cancel that. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Um, we'll replace. And then do one more. And abandon that. So we're now 18 out of 20. I use a purple one. And then abandon that and then I use this. This is the max rarity one, chance to get triple S. So I didn't get the extra third stat here. That's the one that has the purple writing, but there's like a 15% chance for that. But yeah, I don't like this one, so I'll just I'll just abandon it. But yeah, this is where you have to get lucky because you'll eventually run out of these things. And so you don't wanna you, you wanna use them sparingly on equipment that are mostly used. So in this case, I use them on DPS, uh, DPS equipment. So the one that gives attack. But yeah, for the most part, um, you know, over time you'll get legendary equipment um, just by farming the equipment stage. Uh, there's no need to worry about um, you know pay to win stuff in terms of farming gear it'll just take you a bit of time but eventually you know you'll get there um, it's just a matter of trying to get good rolls on your equipment and um, that's pretty much uh, about it um, in terms of you know doing well in all the game modes like if I'm able to get all the rewards um, it's an easy yes. I'm able to obtain um, all the rewards when it comes to you know events, um, all the end game uh, stages, and um, that's pretty much about it. Obviously, when you start the game, you won't, you're not going to be able to reach this stage. Well, technically, unless you let you you start off with a strong roster. So let's say if you rerolled and you have a Tonel over here, Edin. Isabel and uh, Catherine. So let's say you have these four characters, right? These four characters. You'll be able to progress through pretty much the whole game, including all the end game content. And um, yeah, like you'll actually just do fine with just these four characters Tonel, Catherine, um, Isabel, and Edine. So for the well, actually, one more, sorry. Well, the next one would be an SSR, which is Maya. So, technically, for you, ours, it's just these four. And then you should do fine in pretty much all content. Um, obviously, you might, you might come across enemies that hit hard. But, you know, obviously, you'll still be able to complete it one way or another. But, yeah, um... That's pretty much it for the review. Um, if I did miss some things, uh, you can let me know down in the comments below. But I don't want to make it too long of a video because it's just me basically talking about uh, my account. But essentially speaking, um, since I'm going to end this end of this video, uh, I'll just talk about the summary. 
So, as a free to play, you can enjoy uh, this game. Um, progressing when you're starting out is pretty fun. The, the stages, the story stages, um, they do have some fun mini games alongside them as you progress through the story. And if you do read through, um, you do get some decent story and lore behind, you know, certain characters. And then when it comes to doing um, events and end game, um, it'll start off a little bit um, slow, I think, until you level up your characters and farm some equipment. Until then, that's when you'll start to start picking things up and starting to clear content easily once you've once you've geared up your characters with legendary gear but yeah so overall um this game is uh it's pretty fun to play on the side it doesn't really take up much of your time especially now with uh this patch now obviously when there's events that's going to take a little bit more time but overall um they try not to keep you in the game for too long unless you're doing story and stuff like that but once you're done with that it's pretty chill and casual but yeah um, if you got any more questions regarding uh, this game or my account uh, do let me know that in the comments below uh, this is the this is the guild that I'm in right now we are looking for members you know what I'm saying um, I think it's accept all at the moment here's the guild ID on the right side yeah, so we are looking for members. I mean, we are able to complete the bar for the uh, the donation thing, but it's still nice to get more new members. But in any case, it's been your boy Night Storm. Um, thank you for watching. If you've stayed until this point, I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.